Welcome to In The Box Seat. My name is Sean Matheson. I'll be taking you through all the Greyhound Racing industry news, looking at updates, previewing the summer chasing carnival culminating with the Group 1 Adelaide Cup on January 20, and having a look at some selections for you, hoping to get some money during this festive season. What's happening in South Australian racing this week? I've got some selections for you. On Wednesday, we're here at Angle Park. Uh, our first selection is race nine, number three, Was Butch. Was Butch, trained by Lester Harris, coming back from injury. Prior to having uh, the let up, had some very nice form. Wasn't far away in, in a couple of starts. He looks nicely placed here. That's race nine, number three, Was Butch. The second selection for Wednesday is race 10, number two, Night Raider. This greyhound has plenty of ability over all distances, has been very competitive over the 600, 700, and over the 515. Looks a top chance in race 10 on Wednesday, number two, Night Raider. Looks very hard to beat, keep an eye out for that one. Our Honey's Hot Tips for Thursday night. The start of the Adelaide Cup series with all the Adelaide Cup heats and the Interstate Challenge. Our first Honey's Hot Tip for Thursday is race four, number six, Rev Limiter. This one's an interstate visitor for the powerful Tina Woman camp from Victoria. It's a very well performed Greyhound. Ran a sensational 29.67 last start at Sandown in winning there. Got a recent third to birthday boy who's a free for all uh, Greyhound in Victoria. Looks nicely placed in his heat of an Adelaide Cup. That's race four, number six, Rev Limiter. The first four for that event is six, five, eight, and three. Our second Honey's Hot Tip is race 10, number one, Boston Blackie. This one's also in a heat of the Adelaide Cup, trained by Peter Jovanovic. Only had the one start here in South Australia since coming from New South Wales and was brilliant in victory. Ran 29.86 on Boxing Day at Angle Park. Had terrific form in New South Wales. Did ha has had quite a few months off the scene, but looks to be in tip-top condition and looks a terrific chance in his heat of the Adelaide Cup on Thursday night. The first four for that event is one, seven, two, and eight. Also looking at the week ahead in Greyhound Racing in South Australia, we go to Port Augusta on Saturday, the 8th of January. We've got a twilight meeting there, seven event program, always good up there at Port Augusta. And then we also go to Gawla on Sunday the 9th of January. This was a Strathalbyn meeting transferred to Gawler in the popular TAB Twilight Zone. All of those events on Sky Racing 2. Looking on a national level, nationally there, are, there is the uh, Bulleye Cyril Rowe Gold Plate. The heats have already been conducted. The final on the 10th of January. Group 2 level, $25,000 there. The Cranbourne Cup, those heats, very competitive heats, were run on Monday night. Uh, all the finalists go into a $30,000 final, also on the 10th of January, Group 2 level. Not to mention the tatsbet.com Adelaide Cup Series. Uh, fantastic series shaping, heats on the 6th of January. Semis on the 13th of January with the Group 1 final here at Angle Park on the 20th of January. 70,000 to the winner, 96,000 in total prize money for that race. We look at Mandurah, uh, January the 7th. Uh, group 3 is the Mandurah Male Birthday Cup, $22,500 to the winner there at Group 3. At Wentworth Park coming up, heats on the 8th of January. Final on the 15th of January. This is for the Distance Greyhounds, the Association Cup over the 720 metres. This is Group 1 level as well. We also then turn our attention to the Davenport Cup. Davenport, uh, Group 3 level, the heats on the 11th of January with the final on the 18th, $25,000 at Group 3 level. Upcoming events in South Australia on Thursday night, is the final of the West End Distance Draft Championship. Uh, strong race there, Satanic Cash looks the favourite in that one. South Australia's terrific stayer, $30,000 the race is worth. That's on the 6th of January. And not to mention on the same program, 
the $12,500 Interstate Challenge, a bit of a precursor to the Adelaide Cup. Four from Interstate, or Victorians, four from South Australia. Looks a terrific contest and the racing should be sensational here at Angle Park on Thursday night. Our in the box seat selection for Thursday night is race nine, number two, Cowden Mayhem. This is a new one to the Troy Murray Kennel coming from Western Australia. Big wraps on this one. He has had two starts here in South Australia. He ran 29.81 and 29.83 in winning both his starts in very impressive fashion. This one looks a terrific chance in another heat of the Adelaide Cup. Eight heats of the Adelaide Cup on Thursday night and Cowden Mayhem, race nine number two, is the in the box seat selection. Not to mention, uh, in the box seat will be, uh, you'll be able to view in the box seat on the GRSA website uh, every Wednesday uh, around uh, mid morning. You should be able to get on there, have a look, all available at grsa.com.au. And looking forward to the big Summer Chaser Cuddle and Adelaide Cup Series. Uh, that's about us for another edition of In the Box Seat. Look forward to you next week uh, and looking forward to the Adelaide Cup Series.